Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It is your girl, Diamond of Light. And today is March the 1st, 2024. Y'all, we're officially in the month of March. You're wearing her green today. Not intentionally, okay? I just want to throw this on because I like the sand. All right, I really like this because I'll be feeling this way. I seen this shirt, I was like, I got to get it. I got to get it. I got it. Get it. If you don't like me and you still watch me, everything I do. If you don't like me and you still watch everything I do, that means you're a fan, okay? So, hater fans, fans are fans. Nobody that like you or love you or leave you alone. If they're watching you, they're a fan. Period. Point blank. <clears throat> anyway, I was like, let me get up here. I know an injury. That's like with my two new decks, okay? Because the energy is fresh on them. Um, I just want to read the energy to see what we got going on for the first couple of weeks of March. Let's see what, let's see what, let me put on my space, y'all. Let's see what March, y'all got me some more gold frames. Let me clean it, y'all. Let me, came with a look like case and a cloth and all. Got me some more gold. Y'all had some a while back. I used to wear them all the time and those broke. Um, I was like, I need those. I like, I like the gold frames. I just feel like they're just me. It just me. It just me. Anyway, um, not real gold, but whatever. One day, one day I'm gonna buy me some real gold. One day I'm gonna buy me some real gold frames. But until then, we'll take it. We'll take that. <clears throat> so I wanna, I wanna get one forty-four on the clock, okay? So confirmation. I wanna use this oracle deck right here. I love this deck. I just wanna see what we have to look forward to. <clears throat> Let's see what we gotta look forward to for um. The first couple of what do, what do Spirit want us to know through this beautiful oracle deck right here for the um yeah I'm trying to get in a hurry with every chance I get okay two one three on the clock to buy new decks because <clears throat> what people do I spoke on this a while ago how people try to put you know uh, spell work on your your decks to make your energy or your decks come out in the way that they're supposed to. Um, 231. Your decks, 234 on the clock. Okay, sometimes people buy decks <laughs> like the ones you got. Not everybody. Some people, some of us just like decks and we want to use them now. So, just because a person has the same deck don't mean that they're using the deck to do this. But it's people that do. More than you think do it. That's doing workings on you. Okay? They try to... Okay, so Spirit's telling me it's a couple of reasons why they do it. One is because they want to put illusions and confusions on your deck, make your deck read energy about you, your life, and your relationships, because you're losing some confusions about your energy or the energy around you, okay? About your whatever. <clears throat> Another one is because they're trying to destiny swap and read your energy. They figure like, and they're trying, oh, they're trying to read your energy off a light deck, okay? Off a deck like yours. <laughs> So that's another reason why they get a deck like yours because they're trying to pick up on your energy through the deck that you have. Because a lot of times they don't get, they think that if they buy the same deck, then they can read the energy deck because you're connected to that energy and they try to connect your energy to that deck with the deck of theirs, trying to connect your energy of that deck you have and the similarity deck they have to your energy and hoping to get energy like direct, um, you know, uh, clear messages off you, but it still don't, it still be illusions. And uh, like I say, <laughs> I'm not fortunate enough to always get dates, but I'm going to try to get them because it's, it's every now and then just buy me a new one. Like, I've, I've been fortunate enough to. So, make sure you, you know, you know, cleanse your cars. I do cleanse my cars, but every now and then get you a new deck and start using that deck. And if you feel like the energy is funny on them, even if you're cleansing them and stuff and stuff like that, um, get you another deck, new deck to confirm it. Um, some of your new, some of your new decks, four to five on o'clock, um... That could be significant. Some of your new decks, um, don't show them. Just have them for your own personal, all right? Uh, have them for your own personal reads. Don't, don't read them. If you read cards, 4, 4, 4 o'clock, my nose is itching. If you read cards, don't expose those decks to the public. Because every time you expose your deck, People go look up the deck that you're using and they'll go purchase the deck so they can start 
you know, reading your energy, okay? And God will always show you who these people are. But like I say, everybody don't do that. Some of us just like Bex and they we, we want to. Um, and we're curious about, you know, we just like them. We want to, you know, but like I say, a, a good bit of people want to get the same deck that you got just to read your energy or do spell work on your, they can do spell work to cause your deck to be tricky and cause you illusions and confusions and delusions through your deck. All right? Because they, they actually try to take your energy, say you read cards, take your energy through your phone, this portal, take your energy of your deck, connect it with the deck that they have. My nose is itching. And they'll conjure up some bookity bookity book, shit kick it the cat. Somebody could have a cat. And their um boopity boopity bop asses will hex up your decks or, 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 or magic up your decks to give you the wrong information. Okay, so make sure you always try to purchase new decks and don't show all of your decks to the public. Okay, but I want to read some images because I like this deck. <clears throat> okay. Even if you don't give them a name of the deck, like some people just take pictures, you know, these days, because especially they got Google phones or whatever, they can take a picture of the deck in your hand or the cards you got and go look it up. Even if you don't dis dis display it or, or say the name of them, they can look up the deck. So, like I say, keep you a few decks that you don't play place out to the public if you read cards, okay? <coughs> oh, confirmation bourbon. I wanted to, you know, spit up fluid. Okay, so, you know, because these people are trying to make you sick and stuff. Like, okay, so they try to connect to you through your decks, too, to mess with your energy of your body. So, it's a lot of things that people do when you're reading cards and stuff. That's why people say be careful reading tarot. Uh, 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 be careful reading cards because it's a lot of, even if you don't read, like, I, that's what gets me. Let, let, let me say this real quick. This irritates me. People act like it's so wrong to use divination. Okay, for information. And people act like just because they can do channel messages and, you know, they don't, you read cards that their messages come from God. They don't know who the fuck they coming from. All right? The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. That's the magical realms. There's magical essence. That's energy. You don't know who the energy. If you really got unhealed wounds and you really vindictive and you really malicious and you slick hide yourself like who you are and you give up here trying to give messages and channel messages and try to tell people about messages you get from God or whatever the Holy Spirit and you know you really deep down fucked up that shit ain't from God you can be you can fool yourself but you ain't fooling the real God the real divine so <clears throat> using divination as I have to keep saying this because people are so you know illiterate and small minded they're they boxed in God speaks through everything I paint art, so if that's the case, you shouldn't listen to music. Because people get messages to music, too. God speaks to everything. Colors, numbers, pictures, people. Messages come through everything. Nature. You just got to be able to read and discern the, all the possibilities that divine source or whatever speaks to you through. And like I say, it's not always God speaking. You got to be able to use your discernment because... Not only through God speak to you through everything, all the energies and entities and essences and devils and stuff do too. So, and I know I don't just get messages from God. I don't never complain. I don't never complain. I don't never complain. It could be a significant. I don't never pertain that. Oh, all my messages just come from source because I know I'm also connected to the lower realms too. I'm balanced. But I always make sure when I'm getting messages from the the lower realms, that's the messages to the karmics out there of what's coming for them. That's not only coming from God. The devil and entities and demons are telling us and ancestors of the dark ones are telling us what they're going to do to fuck them up. That's coming from a darker essence. And also God's realm. <clears throat> so, hello. So just because people are not using cards or, or, or um divination don't mean that they're getting messages straight from God. That, that, that's, that's oblivious. It could be, but they don't mean that. And just because people do use cars, I do art. I, God give me messages to paint. Or, or my ancestors, whatever, I'm give me messages to paint. Some of them warnings, 
of things to come. Some of them positive messages. Some of, most of them are, but some of them are what we need to work on as far as our shadow work and our trauma, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. Some of it's galactic, you know, because I'm very, I'm, I'm a, I'm a divine, I'm, I'm connected to the cosmos and all that is. So I'm not boxed in. I don't stick to no one genre, one category, one this. And if I do it this way, and I'm not judging people to do it to each his own. I'm not saying that you don't, you don't even need to read cards, but stop judging people that do things and don't do things. There's nothing wrong with people want to switch their narratives. If you don't want to ever touch cards anymore, you feel like you're getting messages straight from channeling from God. That's between you and your, your, your who you know you connected to. But no, through cards, no cards, whatever. It's, it's messages come through. Everything is not always from God. Your ancestors, you got uh, people that passed on spirits and ghosts that's, that's trying to reach out to you, tell you things. But a lot of people don't know how to perceive these things. <laughs> okay? I just want to put that out there because I get, I get, I get so, oof. People get on, oof. If you read cards, you read dirt, it's evil. What do you think? You think your message is not coming from evil sources? What? You're human. You're a vessel. Anything can attach to you and tell you anything. Your mind wanders. If you indulge in any type of substances, you better know that it, it, it ain't always just straight nothing like that. Come on now. What you eating? Huh? What you breathing in every day? A lot of nanotechnology, a lot of us is. Satellites. They send the weapons in our heads to send us thoughts. You're picking up on other people's thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Come on now. We need to stop being so damn sleep. Oblivious. To, 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 like... But, you know, to each his own. I'm not judging nobody to do, but stop. Just, y'all need to. Mm. Nothing wrong with people that feel like they don't need to use cards or whatever, however you get your messages. But there's nothing wrong with people that do use. I don't just use cards. I use cards. Y'all see me. I'm riding. I'm from, Everything around me going to speak to me. Y'all see my picture I posted earlier? I was in Walmart. And it was an old Charlie's that they just opened up. And that chair with the crown light was over the chair. And God say, Spirit say, remember you royalty. One, two, two, two on the clock. One, two, two, three. Confirmation. They're going to show you all the signs and symbols everywhere. What? what what's the coincidence? Who would know that a, 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 a restaurant, old Charlie's, had just put a a uh, 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 a royal, uh, like a royal to a king chair in a, in a crown over a light crown over the chair. You could just sit down and take a picture if you wanted to. It's just sitting there, just oddly sitting there. I hadn't seen it. I go to Walmart all the time. Just seen it today. Just went in there. I think last week, and it wasn't in there. It is in there today. <clears throat> Confirmation, bro. Because God wanted me to know. The divine woman know. Yes, you are royalty. Yes, you are royalty. Don't doubt it. Yes, you are. You're ancient. Yes, you are. You're balanced. Yes, you are here to help balance the scales. You are royal bloodline. And you're more than just a king and a queen. You are a, a divine essence of all that is. And when I say the crown, I'm talking about your consciousness, your divine consciousness, that crown, that knowledge, that ancient wisdom that you obtain because you are connected to all that is. It's not just a one construct of thing. It's every freaking thing. God and the vine and everything that you could connect with give you messages either to warn you, to show you what's dark or negative. You gotta be, if you don't know, if you don't, if you don't intrigue with the darker sides of things, how do you know it if you see it? You had to be in it or witness it or be a part of it at one point of time in your life to be able to recognize it when it approaches you. Because let's be true. They're always playing like the devil or Lucifer is this, uh, with horns and da -da 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 -da. when it was the most beautiful angel. That whole sheep and wolves, uh, wolf and sheep clothing. Some of the most beautiful, well put together, richest, uh, most goddess looking, like beautiful looking people, the most evilest, soulless people there are out there. One, four, three, five on the clock. <clears throat> so it ain't all about how you look or what you have or don't have. It's not all about what you can create too because like I say, 
people that create too don't don't mean that they're all divine and connected to God and all that all the time. Some people was ushered into things. Like they was been doing stuff since they was young. And they kept doing it. They was pampered and uh, catered into it. And they was structured into it. So that's why they're so well at it. How you know God has a play in it. Is that when it activates out of nowhere. Because it's in you and you just naturally exuberate yourself in it. Because it's something that you embody as your soul being in you. It just. And took off. <clears throat> that's God. When you turn nothing into something, that's God. I'm talking about without doing no negative, conjuring, nothing helping you. You just trust it in the Lord. You just trust it in the divine. You just trust it in the law and order of the cosmos. Because you kept your heart pure. And you start working on yourself. And you start taking accountability for your action. You start knowing that, okay, I do have a dark side that I'm okay with. And I use it when I got to. So what? So what? 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 But I'm also, I have a pure heart. I'm not perfect. But I have a pure heart. And whoever deserves this love, and I'm assured to all, but I will protect myself with my darker side if I need be. Because the Lord forces fuck with me. I need them to fuck with me. Because sometimes it takes the darker forces to, to put the other ones in. It's, it's levels to that shit too. Why you think so many are in this low vibration? They're trying to get a seat in the, in the lower realms. But see, even in certain le levels in the, in the lower energies, respect those who have done things righteously in an alignment and, 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 and sacrificed themselves and not others. See, the lower realms, they, they have to take up offerings from, from blood sacrifices and sacrifice from others. Now, the only reason I'm connected to those things is because out of respect of the work I put in to have sacrifices myself, Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. All right? Not perfect, but I have stayed pure. And I've stayed on that straight and narrow road every time to make sure I fulfill my destiny, my, my purpose. And it's never been hard. I mean, it never been easy getting there. To others, it may seem easy. Like I do it easy. Like some people say, listen, man, you make it look easy. No fucking act. <laughs> Shit. I make it look easy because I actually do it. I actually do the work. And it gets easier as I do it. But it's levels to it. And we just got to, you know, oof, I don't know. That just all came through. But, yeah. It's like uh, this card right here says people see you as destructive and chaotic because they don't understand you. Because they don't understand you because they, they're boxed in and they don't perceive that you embody all essence of all that is and you're okay with it. But you're not messed up. You're wise in your ways. Okay? But let's see. Let's see what that energy is for the first couple of weeks of March. I love it. Spirit wants you to embrace. Okay? <clears throat> embrace what fate has in store for you. For you. So ask yourself. What have you been doing? What have you faded for yourself? Embrace it. Because if you've been fading negative energy, doing malicious stuff, embrace embrace it, accept it, take accountability and know that what you're having to face or, or go through, start getting, you know, get, get your house in order. <clears throat> get your house in order. Do it today. Get your house in order. Do it right away. Because we are the embodiment of the Christ energies. And that energy is here. It ain't coming. It's already here. So whatever energy you're putting out. If you're choosing to dove in the dark. Okay, embrace it. But know that there's what you faded for yourself. If you've been living in your harmony and alignment and working on yourself. And elevating for your highest and greater good for you and all 19, 19 on the clock. Embrace that. And know that's what you faded for yourself. Okay? But embrace what fate has in store for you. Just embrace what it has in store for you. Embrace it. Because it's coming whether you like it or not this month. <coughs> Excuse me. Confirmation bird. Commitment. We got commitment. Is an important factor in building a successful relationship. Okay? So whatever you've been committed to. 
All right? This relationship, love, love for oneself. If you've been committed to working on you, on you and what you have, you know, to bring success in your life, know that all the right people are going to connect with you in, in alignment with what you're fated for yourself. All right? All the right relationships on what you're building on. Okay? Confirmation with the boom. Because it's something light in the way here. And this is also to do with love, love for your your love life as well, for yourself and other acceleration. <clears throat> Speed up and chase the results you want. So, things about to speed up. 2022 on the clock, okay? Things about the 222. Things about to speed up, confirmation, okay? Whatever you've been committed in, it's, it's about the. 2031 is about to like take off 2034 it's about to take off like something about to come in real rapidly for you because whatever you've been working on whatever you've been fighting for yourself okay whatever you've been committed to something's about to speed up now smelling some type of <clears throat> i don't know and if something's going on with the senses your clear sentience could be like in super old drive lately because i seen a video on there earlier i was like dang uh i forgot her name but she was saying i was like you know what that, that had been going on with me i already had i was already sensitive to smells energy i already had but it's like it's enhanced. And it's so it's so enhanced to the, the littlest things. I can smell toxins. I can smell, you know, it's just, ugh. And it's a lot of toxins in the air. 2111 on the clock. 2113. So it's like I can taste toxins. I can smell like anything that's out of the ordinary, I pick up on. And not only I'm smelling, I'm tasting. And it, and, and it, is, it, is, it can throw you off. So And also you can sense the energies of others through smelling them. Like I can smell beyond like anything that's surrounding me. It's like my smell is super. 2, 1, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, um, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3 on the clock, 2, 1, 3, 4, okay? So just know that these things are going to get more accelerated too. So your, your abilities are going to speed up. They won't be able to let you know this. But whatever you're working on, it's about to take off. Okay, because you attract you're attracting things. Tree. The appeal of soul pairing goes beyond superficiality and tell the tree what you really think. So it's something about trees, like tree energy, trees, all kind of trees, all right? It's like your trees, what you're attracting, are you bearing fruit? Like right now you can like seem like you have your tree can be bare. Two two one two, two two one three. Your tree can be bare right now. But know that we're coming into spring. So you're going to start seeing like little blossomings of flowers, two, 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 one o'clock. And then now, you know, as we go into the spring, come summer, I'm getting like, you're going to start seeing that few fruit, your, 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 your fruit or your, your trees, your, your leaves flourishing, your fruit are start going to start manifesting little bit by little bit. You're going to start seeing this, but by summertime, two, two, four, three on the clock. <laughs> thank you, spirit. Is you you're going to be bearing those fruits? Like you actually going to be able to? They're going to be lush and and, and, and and vibrant and beautiful and fresh and and you're still you're going to start you know being able to receive like proceed from that harvest. My nose is itching within the summertime. Yes. So yeah, and some of you you know might want to go to a tree and sit and meditate and talk to the tree and see what the tree yes. Spirit said, trust your intuition because trees are very ancient. Depending on how old the tree is, how wise it is, you can get a lot of information to it. But whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been committed to, it's about to accelerate because whatever you've been attracting, all right, is something that you've really, really been thinking hard about, really, really, really been manifesting. Just whatever this is, Spirit just wants you to know that this month right here, all right, two, three, four, one on the clock, trust your intuition, depending on your divine guidance, okay, with them. Okay, trust your intuition. Know that everything is going to work itself out. Live in the now moment. <clears throat> okay, know that true love is here for you. Think of, think, of a, th think, of, think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. True love. So, you could be in a relationship and you could be questioning your relationship. That's why, that's why earlier I said in my reading, make sure you get in new cards. Because it's a lot of people that pay people to target me. I know a lot of these people that come across my For You page and that I've seen them like, I don't know where it comes. They be readers and stuff that people been unpaid to do work on me. Um, some of them just do work on me because of who I am in my life, okay? But these some, some of these people have been paid to come and they're actually readers. They actually do stuff and they, it ain't no coincidence that I come across their For You page or they come, or, or they come across mine. Um... Because uh, even if they got fake accounts, I keep telling y'all, 
people that has fake accounts, they can't hide that stuff because they're real. Their real accounts, if they do anything, social media, real account, is going to come across your phone, you page. And God going to 2, 4, 5, 3 on the clock. God going to show you who they really are. I'm just telling you 2, 4, 5, 6. God going to show you who they really are. So even if they think they're hiding behind a fake profile and they actually have a real account, that real account, going to, and, and I see it all the time. And, and spirits say, that's that person that be da 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 That person right there, yeah, that's the person be doing spell work for you. This is their real account. But they hide behind that, uh, that account. I'm telling you, my nose itching. So just trust your intuition because you don't know these things, okay? But it's like, again, what I say about getting new cars and some of your cars, don't let the public see because these people, they'll get the cars that you have or purchase them and they'll start doing spell workings with that car to connect to you through your phone and through your cars to start making your energy read differently. Like people might want you to think that you're, um, they're already doing the illusion confusion spells, but they want you to think that you're a lover is doing things to you that, that they're not doing. And I've been telling y'all for the longest this has been a battle for me, especially the last um, year and a half, heavily, ever since we went to North Carolina. We got voodooed out of our, voodooed and hoodoo, whatever, out of our home and we went to North Carolina with all that fake stuff to do with my lover's uh, mother and stuff. But it's like, ever since we went there and came back, it's been up in the air, like really, really heavy on whether or not he's a part of this whole idea or uh, idea or ordeal and, and, and it's like it confuses and illusions and I have to it's it's like a it's it, it's a battle for me like that's the that's my heart and it's two six two five on the clock two six two seven that's my sister and daughter's birthday my oldest daughter and my sister so it's like <clears throat> these people are paying people and they're doing things to make you think that you're a lover along with the people that they're that you're associated is is a part of like that they, they they want to break up your true love. So yes, moment true love. So embrace your commitment with your true love too. Things I'm about to celebrate. Okay. Some of you could be attracting new love too. All right. Some of you could be attracting um yeah two six five seven on clock. Some of you is attracting new love okay but and this new love is your true love. If you're not already in a relationship, but I'm, I, I've been getting a lot of energy coming out today about my love today through these beautiful new decks, all right? And it's crazy because I'm sharing this deck, and I know I probably have to get other decks, okay? That's personally mine. But I, I like these, and I want to share these with the collective, so. um, But this gave me some clarity on what I need to know about the confusing illusions that's been going on with me because I needed clarity, and I got the clarity 2727 on the clock, 99 completion. I got the clarity that I needed before I even brought it up here. So it says, think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. So this is somebody you're already with. <clears throat> Whether this love uh, or platonic, like, you know, partners and work or whatever, take it up. But this is saying true love. So um, true love appears when you least expect it. So, you know, that love was true. It appeared to you. You prayed for it. You've been asking for it. You know what? You know that you attracted it. You know you was in alignment when it came from your heart. You was ready to really love yourself, and you was asking God for that true divine soulmate. And and it brought it to you. It brought it to you. But know that a lot of people have been trying to go against these divine unions, <clears throat> boundaries. Okay. Have a sense of boundaries is important. And sometimes, you know, you got to have boundaries with your true love. I set boundaries with other people because, like I said, these other people could be trying to cause illusions, confusion between you and your true love. Okay. But we got love is, okay, so, this, yeah, confusions. What I say about confusion? Yeah, that was doing confusion spells. That's what I said. These people, you got you to gotta, you gotta set boundaries with these people because <clears throat> all true confusion, all seekers of truth will experience confusion. Ask the universe to provide an answer. You know what I was saying? I had to get this deck. I had to get more clarity. You know what I'm saying? Even if I'm up here speaking things and I'm feeling like I might be experiencing in my life, um, I also will come back and, you know, right my wrongs. Like, I'm not too proud to, but I, I always say, I'm always confused about, at times, between us. But I'm like, God wouldn't have kept us together almost 11 years, and we've been through a lot together. And, 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 and it's been, like, more of outside, but, you know, things interfering with us, because it's crazy how things, one minute we can be, ah, oh, 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 and then the next minute out of nowhere, it wouldn't nothing to happen to make us separate. It's like this disconnect that don't make sense. So it's like you got to be able to see the whole picture. And I'm telling you, if you're ever looking for this perfect person, baby, <laughs> you're going to be a damn fool. You ain't going to never have nobody. Look for a person that's true to... Not all the whistles and bells like you want going to come with a person. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's going to be... But you look for a person's heart. 
look for that heart because a lot of us don't don't act like a lot of us ain't been damaged, especially the melanated people. A lot of people in this world ain't been damaged. I mean, across the board. And we've all had a lot to work on. So what make you think that you didn't have to work through some shit, but the next person don't get a chance to? And then on top of that, you got to take in consideration when you and this person met, if you was, if you had a lot more that came with you when you was in this relationship in the beginning, and you could have came with a lot of baggage. Not that you did not tell this person this. You let you forewarned them. I'm talking about me for say. I told him, I said, baby, you don't want these problems. And I gave him the up and up. He was like, oh, I can't handle it. But he didn't realize to the extent, see. But I left. Nothing but one thing. But I ended up coming forward with the one thing. But I'm just saying. <clears throat> And that can break a person. That's why it's just to be honest and upfront, 30, 30 on the clock. You ain't got to tell everybody. Unless you don't just take somebody that you just meet and tell them your whole life. Like, make sure y'all really connecting, y'all talking and stuff for a while. Y'all want to, if you finna get ready to move in with somebody, tell them everything. Because they're going to end up finding out knowing anyway. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, if you finna, if you finna shack up with somebody that you planning on being with, you might as well just be honest with them. Because if anything come up later on, it's going to damage the relationship to a point that you don't never know that you, this person could be really holding on to some stuff that you hurt them with. And you can't get mad about how long it takes them to heal from it, if they ever do. If they have a, a, a and then you got to realize any damage that you came with that you could have brought into your relationship that they wasn't ready for. And now, even though you've worked on your healing, they still got to heal from that as well. You got to give them time, so. But just know that true love is at hand. If you ain't experienced this on this way, you know what I'm saying? It's something that you attract. A lot of people probably set your boundaries with people because they are trying to cause a lot of confusion. Uh, it's a reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. Learn to reconcile with yourself about things that you have to take a look at, all right? And get clarity from the universe about, Okay. Um, as I was saying that we all come in with different um, parts of ourselves that although we can heal and grow over time, it's that beginning of the relationship or that past energy that everybody moves or, or grows differently that that person can still be 3, 2, 1, 1 on the clock, okay? 3, 2, 1, 4. That person can still be holding on to that past you. Even though you healed and grow. Those parts of yourself that was toxic and damaged and narcissistic and, you know, unhealed at the time, that could still be stuck with a person. And you can't expect them to just get over that. It takes them time, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, you'd be like, but I'm, I'm a different person. I grow. But they're still dealing with that. Now they got to heal and, and work through this stuff in their own time. Three, two, four, one on the clock. And take that, and just like three, two, four, five, just like... Three, two, four, five, one o'clock. Just like they gave you time to heal and work with you through your stuff. Why wouldn't you give them time? Because some of that that they're working through is stuff that you also done to them. With your baggage that you brought into your relationship. And then they got their own childhood traumas and baggage that they have to deal with. You see what I'm saying? Three, three, one, one, three, three, one, two, one o'clock. So just be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with them. And, you know, if you got to reconcile with yourself, you know what I'm saying, in them, because the challenges are, are at hand a lot of times, you know you can work through it. Okay? I love this. So, this, this is a lot we're going to be doing during the, mar the first couple of weeks, at least for March, um, is embracing commitment or celebration or attracting. All right? Tree, yes, moment, true love, boundaries, confusion, and reconciliation. So, you just got to reconcile with the things that you've been confused, confused about because all this confusion and illusion spells has been done for me, particularly on my relationship. He's affected by that. Yes, I'm being affected too, but I got to understand if he's not doing these things, three, three, five, four, three, three, five, five on the clock, that these energies are, are attacking me with and putting in my head and I'm not, I'm so confused about, you know. If he's not doing these things and I'm making him feel this way, imagine the damage you're doing, even though that's why you have to recon rec reconciliate with yourself. You got to sit with yourself. You got to forgive yourself. You got to hope that person still give that person time to heal within that. Because imagine the trauma they're experiencing too. Yeah, you're feeling, you're feeling the trauma because it's not fair because of all these illusions and confusions and delusion, all this spell work getting thrown at me, say, so to speak. And it's affecting me, but it's affecting my union as well because he's having to wear 
uh, 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 deal with these illusions and confusions that I'm dealing with. Three, four, 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 three, four, four, five on the clock. So thank you, spirit. And I have to take that in consideration. All right. But the boundary sometimes is needed. So you all can heal. Sometimes we got to set boundaries. Three, four, five, nine on the clock with our significant others. So you can and have, have that disconnect so you can go sit with yourself or they can sit with yourself. And if they're having boundaries with you, it's because of the things that you've been confused about. So you can't get mad if they got these boundaries up. You want to be loved and affectionate and treated a certain type of way, but you telling this person you think that they're doing this and this and that to you, trying to kill you and offspring you some more stuff. You know? And if they're not doing these things, how do you think they feel? Okay? But... It's going to cause challenges, but you you all will get through them because whatever these negligence or negative um, things are that y'all have been experiencing, if this is if you're in a relationship, you could 3542 have separated from your divine counterpart because people threw spell work on y'all and y'all separated. And this is who you're supposed to be with. Okay? But some of us just strong enough to endure it and get through it together because we at the end of the day, we know we all we got because we all we love. Heart. You start to feel your heart beat faster as you get closer. So now as you reconcile out with your, uh, reconciliate with yourself, right? Get through all the confusion and illusions, realizing that's what it is, okay? Because <laughs> you already chose to be committed to this, all right? So look how the trees here in the beginning, like, it's like here is this high consciousness. The trees is purple, lush, and then stuff started fading away here. The love started fading. When well, you can see the, the red on the ground and the tree started getting bare. And then here, the tree got even more bare a little bit. And then, here we go. The tree is all the way bare. You wanted to attract this. You wanted to, you attracted this bare tree. Okay? But, you have to talk with this tree. And I'm talking about the tree yourself. Three, six, five, four, the tree, the tree of life within you. Three, six, five, seven, my nose is itching. Okay. You have to really sit with yourself and talk to the tree, the tree of life, the tree, the life within you. All right. And tell yourself, trust your intuition. What do you feel like? Even though it's a lot of stuff, like you got to, what do your heart say? That's what's kept you there. That's what's kept you saying that's what's kept and shit from going back dog crazy, right? Trust that your intuition that the moment this person that you met, this partner, this love, this is a love message. Okay. Because this is about love. The love healing. The love within yourself. The love with the people that supposed to be in your life. Whether this platonic or, 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 or um, not. You know, whether this is real love. I'm such a real love. So, <clears throat> excuse my um, don't shout me out. I've been targeting. So, know that this is true love. That boundaries had to be set up because a lot of confusion took place. But you have to reconcile. All right. Maybe this person want to reconcile too because maybe they did some things in the midst of all these storms. Maybe they could have been confused too and could have did some things, so to speak. They could have done some of these things, not maybe all that you feel extreme about, but the disconnect or maybe they could have been talking to somebody else, not saying that I'm just getting this. Maybe they could have been started like talking to somebody else on the side, like hire somebody else or, you know, um, through social media or something on a job or some stuff like that. Not saying that they stepped out and cheated, but they might have started, you know, uh, uh, communicating with some somebody else you know what i'm saying and but that's because that energy that sent y'all away is doing all it can to try to separate y'all so not only were you confused they were confused too because this went both ways depending on you know what the situation is okay but the confusion here caused a lot of disconnect but now both of you all one of you all need to reconcile but you got to reconcile with yourself first Go within your heart because know that everything is going to blossom back up because now the trees are going to start getting back blossoming. Like it started, the ground, the foundation started, you know, uh, growing first, growing back first. After all this, after this, the foundation started growing first. This is what's happening. And then you're going to see this pattern, these patterns telling you, yes, trust your intuition that this is for you. 
You know what I'm saying? And here you got more trees back there. So everything that y'all have been, you no, know, she's looking behind in the back of the tree. So it's like, you have to look at all the things and everything y'all been through together like, Dang, that tree flourished, that flourished, that flourished, that flourished. Y'all have always been kept, God is saying, right? So, and that's what that's what's helping you to know that this is your true love. Because through it all, you're still, you're still here, right? And boundaries was here between the both of you all, okay? Somebody shot off a little bit, lost a lot of the love, but it was a little love there. Somebody loved somebody more than us, but a little... The other, but a little love, little, a lot more love was here. Maybe this you and your partner start like loving you less and less, but still had a little love for you. But it was the light shining on you. All right. This light shining so he could see or she could see that you still have this ultimate love. Just, just, um, the boundaries were set. Okay. But the love that they had for you that was high. You see, because right here, it's like a, still the red over here, okay? But, and that's when the confusion came in. You see how it's bare here, and it's not a night. Uh, the, 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 the trunk or the, the, was like, they go that separation here, all right? You still was together this whole tree, but the separation took place. And it was a hole in your, in your relationship, a hole. But you still have to like remember the experiences here and, and trust your intuition to keep looking back on everything you've been through, all right? And now, as you're sitting and you're reconciling with yourself, that, and then y'all come together and reconcile with one another, that your heart, the love is infinite again with the red tree here, all right? You start to feel your heart beat fast as y'all get closer and closer. So it's like during this month, your love is about to be rekindled and you're about to get closer and closer. You're going to be tested. You've been tested. Okay. Your strength and weakness are being tested because that's what the thing that's been going on. Your y'all strength and, and, and your weaknesses have been tested. And it could be even more during this fat, this first two, two, um, two weeks. Like it could be some really, really a lot of, a lot of stuff that could be coming in. But you, like I say, trust your intuition. Like, I'm starting to get this itch on my face. Like, something could be breaking out. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, they they still uh, causing breakouts, you know, on my face. Even though I'm, you know, getting rid of some of the blemishes and stuff over time, there's still a lot of breakouts. So, it's like people still could be trying to cause you to break out, break up. Okay? 4229 on the clock. And I'm saying that 4231 because that's his birthday, 429. So, a lot of people still can be trying to cause y'all to break up doing spell work. Then, because not mind you, this is also four two four two on the clock. We are coming into this new moon on the third. Okay, the new moon. So today is the first. So this energy is already prominent. That's why I had that death attempt on my life last night. I felt some energy today as well too. Or this evening, as it got dark, I felt a rush of like somebody. And this earlier today, it's like a timeline glitch took place. Like it's a video I had watched. And I know I had seen the video. I watched the whole video. I remember a message clear day. I liked the videos. I remember it was 80 likes. Um, matter of fact, it was on Magic One Terror 123 video. And I remember the message as clear as day. It was 80 likes. I liked it, made it 81 likes, and left it at that. Later on, when I was doing something within that, later on that afternoon, which this happened today, I started feeling lightheaded and dizzy, felt displaced and felt like I was having like an out of body experience, 4333 three, three on the clock and 4335. And then I went back to my phone and boom, time I turned my phone on, that same video popped back up on my For You page with the same 80 likes and it looked like I hadn't liked it. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. So it could be like some timeline glitching or, or, or you know, or because people still trying to take my life for us. It could be things glitchy and trippy, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, 440, 4 o'clock. They can never, never. You, basically what happens, I jump into an alternate timeline. That's what happens. I have walk-ins and I jump into alternate timelines when these people do this death magic on some of us. That's why I say they, they can't take you out. You're not done until you're done. And a lot of people don't perceive that. But they're going to be done. But then when they wake up in another alternate reality, it's going to be somewhere that they don't really want to be. 
You know what I'm saying? They, their whole world going to become hell. They can still be them and their whole world get hell and that's become hell. They might not necessarily die and leave this, you know, maybe they did leave one reality, but that next reality that they, you know, transition into is going to be their whole world upside doomsday. My nose is itching. So, again, that happened today and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And that's people's, like I was saying, this 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 new moon energy, that's when people like to do death magic on new moons. That's when it's the most potent and prominent. So it made sense why I had this happen to me yesterday and today, and I had another timeline jump today. So, and I know this because that video looped back around, and it did what it did. And, um, but know that your relationship at this time for the next two weeks, all right, um, and within this week, the first week of March, you just, just pay attention to it and just trust your intuition and show true love. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people want to try to do some confusions and stuff. Take what resonates to you and you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. Your heart is going to be tested at this time even more because, like I said, people are desperate in these next two weeks, two to three weeks before the real, okay? Oh, four, five, four, two on the clock, four, five, four, 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 five, four, five, four, five, four, six. People are very desperate at these last three weeks before this real new year come in during the March Equinox, March 21st. After that, there's it. I'm telling you, that's it. Anything they throw at you, you're not going to feel it all. It's going to automatically instantly become there. You're going to walk into your success. If you withstand these next two to three weeks with all the tests that you're going to be tested with your heart, not just through your counterpart love, but, but for love for yourself and all, this is going to be some tedious ultimate test, okay? But make sure you set boundaries because a lot of people won't try to come in and cause you a lot of confusions and illusions too. Make sure you being aware, be aware of that. Okay. Cherish. Make sure you cherish. Protect your relationship well. Cherish that. Look how big this stump is. See how big this is? And there's like this little open hole, but there's a small tree growing there. And I'm getting this could be um um something that's growing here. Uh, child, all right, so, but, but know that your relationship is protected, that you're protected, that the, the foundation and, and the, 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 the stump is like the biggest, strongest, is so, it's vast, you see what I'm saying, so it's like, but there's a light here, there's a light that leads within this, but know that, just cherish your relationship, cherish it, make sure you cherish and know that these tests, these are tests, and know that people are going to be throwing a lot of confusing illusion at you, so be weary of that, Thank, take that in consideration, and don't be beating other people up, know this already, trust your heart, trust your intuition, think before you act, I'm talking to myself, y'all, but take what resonates for you, okay, <laughs> cherish who you are, cherish your moments, cherish the people that are truly around you, that love you, okay, you're going to have clarity on these things, okay? Take a moment to think about your situation to figure it out. What I say? Think before you act. Take a moment to think about it. Get clarity on it first. Don't just jump the gun because that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? 47, 47 on the clock. It's like, I can be calm for a minute because I already know. I can know. I can be like, oh, no, I'm feeling this way. I know this is. But don't don't think they're not going to go uh, 4, 7, 5, 6. It's going to be extreme. So make sure. You get clarity and don't be, be, cherish your relationship, cherish your moments, like, just show love. Just know that anything that's coming to your fucking thoughts and thank you to make you think some crazy stuff is delusion, it's confusions. God is already showing me this with my, see, no, nobody's been able to see this and tamper with this. So I'm letting you all know that cleanse your energy. If you use cards, and even if you cleanse your, make sure you cleanse your energy anyway, because if you're even getting channeled messages. You can be confused about your messages because people sending you these psychic attacks, okay? That's why my cars is not, well, this stuff come in my mind first. Start making me see things around me. Making me feel certain ways around me. It don't be nothing I've read. It be the the, the mind and the, and the what I'm seeing around me first that bring, excuse me, these illusions and confusions, okay? So make sure I go to, you know, my divinations and stuff uh, for confirmation. And like I say, sometimes people don't need spell work on your divination and you have start, it'll start feeding into what you're already thinking. Because they don't send the spell work to your thoughts or the, or, or the energy to your thoughts. And they also make sure they tamper with your divination too. So whatever you're feeling and thinking will come out to try to give you. And it be all, you, 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 that's why I say you got to get clarity, keep going a step farther. Keep going a step farther. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Just, just make sure you get it from God. Make sure it's from the divine. Listen to your heart. Think before you act, okay? 
Figure it out first. Because God wants you to know that you are cherished. Openness. Being open to receiving divine guidance in relationship. You got to be open to receive this divine guidance, this divine love. It's divine. You got to be open to this. Okay? Be open. It's all right to be open about it. Um, but if you're dealing with things and you go to your significant other or the people that you love and around you, whether it's business partner, whatever, and, and it's not um it's not an inner or over understanding that just back off and have those boundaries. But okay, you don't get me. Don't make them get you. Don't try to make them get you. Don't try to make it work. Don't try to make them wanna feel they don't try to make them wanna you know what I'm saying, just back off and be like, oh, maybe, you know, was this uh, just change them just change the motion. Just change the motion. Just change the energy. Okay? And just start on something new. Don't even stay stuck in that. Because if they can't give you an answer or make you feel like you need to feel. And, and sometimes we so attacked that even no matter if they was giving us an answer, we wouldn't see it because we up under these attacks. Five, zero, three, four on the clock. So just back off. If you're feeling like you're getting these negative thoughts, these intrusive thoughts, and these things making you see things, just keep your boundary spirit saying until you get some clarity. Five, zero, four, six. Until you get some clarity on the clock. I love this ring. Okay, anything? Is that it? I want to finish out these other three columns, four columns. But if that's it, okay, there we go. Allure. Consider the situation carefully. I can't make this up. Get clarity. 5115 one o'clock. Get clarity. Uh, allure, okay? Consider the situation carefully before you go jumping off the gun and acting this way or making this person, you know what I'm saying? Man, because you can't never take it back what you said it did. We can't never take it back. We have to live with it. And then we have to reconcile with ourselves, forgive ourselves, forgive others, and keep on. You, you can't take back. You can't take it back as much as you want to. And you can't expect that person that you... uh invaded this energy with despite when you was being invaded now you done then i use your energy you, you you done invaded their mind and thoughts and feelings and now you expect them to come back from it as quick as you did and it don't work like that for everybody works differently you know women we're all in our emotions men are more logical so it gotta make sense for them they gotta see a consistent like no matter how much you, i forgive you I mean, they gotta see a consistency of things for them to be like okay okay she or he you know what i'm saying got it and, and vice versa Depends on, you know, some females are very logical too. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times we move off our emotions. And me and we, we got to prove to them, like, you know what I'm saying? It got to be a pattern of consistency of like, okay, yeah, okay. She she getting it. You know what I'm saying? So honor, honor, honor your relationship. Honor, um, treat the people you love with respect and you'll find your relationship becomes stronger. You got to respect them. Put some respect on my name. How do you expect your lover to respect you if you're not giving them the respect that they need? And if you're accusing them, like, of poison or whatever, the, the stupid, crazy, confusion, illusion, spell, and that's it. They want to send these attacks to you um, so you can do these things to your lover. So your lover, if you're not going to leave like they'll run away from you, for they will not want to be with you no more and stuff either. Okay? So you got to really, like, if, if this person is feeling disrespected, then you can't expect, you know what I'm saying? Start respecting that person. All right? Five, three, one, two. Start respecting your lover. Okay? And then give you, your relationship will come stronger. You know? Get clarity. Please. It's like, please get clarity. All right? Something I'm big enough. My face breaking out for some reason. <laughs> Confirmation birth. I love this. Barrier. Find ways around obstacles to find. When, when you had these obstacles, what did I say just now? Just change, the, just change the whole situation. Just change the motion. Just uh, find happiness. Don't stay stuck on that. If you need to go to them first, that person with openness just to get it off your mind, it's a way to go about it. And if they don't want to hear, or the, you know, they can tell you what you want to hear, and or you think you want to hear, and they're telling you it's the right things, but you don't see it's right because they're going to steal that, that, that energy they're causing this confusing illusion. Just set that boundary back off. And go just change the subject. Like, okay, being, being, uh, and that's why I don't drink and stuff. I come back from stuff a lot. It's hard. It takes a minute for things to hit me, but sometimes it's constant, 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 constant. And then I go and then, you know, it don't drag out like it used to, Lord. But I do, you know, imagine if, you know, throughout the days, you like, you always on ground. You got to watch what you eat. You got to write what you think. You making this person. It's, 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 imagine what that person's going through. Okay. 
It ain't even gotta always be about cheating that your 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 significant other is like being disrespectful. So it can be with your children. All right. You 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 side with your children and when they trying to discipline you, you want to step in all the time. All right, you gotta check yourself with that. It can be what what other things you 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 making them feel disrespected with. You know what I'm saying? Not listening, um, not taking their 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 feelings into consideration. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a it's across the board. So you know we gotta start seeing ourselves more. But you know, like I say, find ways around the obstacles. A lot of obstacles is gonna honor your relationship. Okay. Um, get clarity on things before you just shoot the gun off, you know, running your mouth and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how us females can do. We just, oh, we got to see it. We got to get it out. Da, 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 da. No, we don't. Because a lot of times, like I said, especially if your energy uh, is being attacked, you have to really, 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 really take that in consideration. All right? You got to. Because these are divine love that they really don't want you to be with. We got link in time. The bond of love grows stronger over time. If y'all been going through things and it has been some damage there, know that, it, that it, in, in time it'll grow. It'll heal. Yeah. And then time came out here right beside it. In time, your love will grow and heal. You got to get what I was saying earlier. You got to get that other person time to heal. Five, 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 five. You got to get them time to change. You change. You still got change to work on, but now they having to deal with all this stuff and probably their past. You know what I'm saying? What before you and then you done came with your your drama and trauma that you've been healing over time. Now they happen to, you know, uh, cut her stay stuff out of that as well. So give it time. But with the time, you got to make sure you're doing the right things to rekindle and, re, you know, not rekindle. Because we don't want to re. When I say re, I feel like you kindle them something up and you're going to repeat that shit all over again. To kindle something new. To just like something new. Just to start something new. Just start new. All right. The ace of freaking one. Start new. New new fire. New energy. It says, let time forget those scars. The bond of Lord's love grows stronger in time. And let time, okay? Let time forget those scars. Forget it. Forget all those women. If anything they done to you, anything you done to them, like just, just let time heal it. it. It just takes time, baby. Just keep showing up as your divine self. Just keep working on yourself. My nose is itch. Keep showing up as your divine self. They're going to see it. They're going to respect it as you're respecting them. And things are going to heal. Because a lot of illusions, look, a lot of illusions has been done to your relationship. That man and that woman loves you. You know that in your heart. What are they at all the time? I don't never have to question. I don't have to question where he at. I don't. Um, we've been together almost 11 years. And I can tell you, it's been so much growth and it's, it's not it's, it's not terrible. It's not. It's just my own attacks and things of being hurt so much and things I'm still burdening and carrying and, and all the spiritual attacks and illusions and confusions that's been thrown at me and him, especially because they want me to separate from him so they can get me 57, 57 on clock back home and, you know, off me and all that other stuff. So, when you're a divine union like that, there's a lot of people trying to separate y'all. I'm gonna, this is my last couple. I'm going to do it one more time after these two and I'm done. Because I really love this reading. Value and indication. Focus on things of value and watch the signs that lead you to true love. If this person, okay, you know, like I say, signs, look at all the signs, okay? Look at all the signs and the, or the value of the things. I see the goods and the pros and the cons, okay? And spirit, let spirit speak to you. All right, your spirit is about to be sub sublimit sublimated. Yeah, sublimated. Okay. I don't know what that word means. So. Sub means subtract. So. Be prepared to accept what fate has in store to you. Accept. You have to accept some things, and you have to like willing to grow further from them, and you have to be willing to. Take accountability and step forward. What do you want? What do your heart want for yourself? 
And if you know that you just know that you can't find your way to like change and have a new with this person that you with, you just have to accept that and move on. Don't hold on to something that your heart is not into anymore. But take in consideration that these could be things that's triggering your heart and mind to make you feel this way. So, you know, try to find things to bring happiness and joy and work on yourself and see if you respect your energy more as well as the energy of the other person with your relationship. See where it go from that. If you know you're doing all you can, you know, um, to move forward and the next person's not because they can't let go of the past and they have the same reason to feel that way about you, sometimes... Y'all have to accept that maybe we just not for each other and move on. And you and be be love a person enough to and your, yourself enough first of all to do that, okay? But yeah. But accept what your fate is. If you feel like you you know you done did too much damage, you don't really um this really, really messed up, let that for this. If you know you're not committed, you know you have been faithful, you know it ain't the minor illusion, the future thing. You really, really been messing up over somebody. Let that person one zero zero four four on the clock. Let that person go live their life. But if you know it's the minor things and you know it's things that could be worked through, it ain't no abuse. It's just you know the finances could be. Y'all done went through everything, broke, busted, disgusting. Y'all have, y'all don't have, y'all okay together. Y'all done made it through storms together, and it's just be little things that y'all work on, work through that. You know, how you think people stay together for 40, 50, you know, all the years? That wimps, the butterflies and rainbows all the motherfucking time. Zero, one, zero, one, one, one o'clock. It was some times that they had to grow and heal from, okay? Observe. Notice all the noteworthy things in your relationship. What I say? Pay attention. Look at everything. One, zero, one, two, three. Take a, take a, uh, observe everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And see, like, in the, in the beautiful and Wind it all up in that basket and see if the good outweighs the bad, then it's worth fucking fighting for. Okay? If the good outweighs the bad, it's worth fighting for. If it's small shit, <laughs> listen. Trust. It's like, just trust it. You need trust in your relationship for it to thrive. Admiration. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. 11 11 on the clock. 11 11 is an important number for twin flame, symbolizing harmony and balance in your soulmate. This is your twin flame. flame. This is your twin flame. This is your balance. This is your yin to your yang. You're up to your down, your left to your right. To make a full circle. This is your has and your not. This is your do and your don't. Okay? This is your like and dislike. Your love and your hate. This is that. 10243 on the clock. This is that. My nose is itching. And that's what you go through. Y'all go through things. No, no, no perfect union. You're not going to have this perfect... The fairy tale is what the fairy tale you you know what every fairy tale what they had to go through before they have a happy fucking ending. Duh. One zero three zero three on the clock. <laughs> Did you know? They had to go through all that bullshit before they have the happily ever after. Duh. <laughs> and that's what soulmates and twin mate flames do. Oh my nose is itching. Again, 11, 11 and I'm going to do one more after that, and we're going to sum, sum it up. It's an important number of four twin flames, symbolizing harmony and balance in soulmates. This is your soulmates. 10333 on the clock. Oh, shit. They not. And it's the, what did I say about rekindle? <laughs> I just not this. Y'all know I said I don't want my nose itching. I'm not saying 10345, not to rekindle because... Like I said, we don't want to redo nothing and kindle something in that old flame. That flame go out because we're trying to redo something. We want to start up a whole new fire. We're going to switch that. Every relationship has those magical moments that can be lit to a new essence. Get a 10404. Get a whole new wick, a whole new lighter, a whole new lighter fluid, and light that stuff. Set that fire, baby. Set that fire. Get sexy. Hey, it ain't all about the sex things, but you know, because of that respect first. Just start respecting. Do all the things right. Treat how you know you want to be treated, baby. 
love them inside and out. Love on them. Love on yourself. If they see you loving on yourself inside and out, and you reciprocating that same love back to them, baby, ain't a man or a woman that won't do nothing for you. They, 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 they give you the world. They'll give you the world and the cosmos and the universe and everything else if they could. They would, baby. I know that man to give me the world. <laughs> there ain't nothing he won't do. It. Like, I, I want to make it easy for him to go harder because he's driven now. I'm seeing a change in him, but a change in me too. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you always got to be on the same exact accord, but you, you both of y'all got to be progressing. Progressing, however you want to say it. And one more after this 11 11. Or did I do it already? Nope. One more. Or did I do it? Oh, y'all, I'm loving this. I can't help it. Y'all know I'll be here for it. One more. One more spirit. You want me to do one more, please? Give me one more. If you don't give me one more, I say, no, we really. I think that's it. I think that's it. If they don't pull out no more, that's it, y'all. That's what they want me to keep it at that. Yep, that's it. That's it. We want you to 11 11. That's the final card. They want me to read. That's, they, they say, uh, they, just remember this. This is the last card I had. But they wanted me to show you the 11 11. This is your soulmate. This is your twin flame. And y'all are here to. It's time for y'all to light things up anew. You're not going anywhere, baby. If you're with somebody, this is for somebody that's already in a union, okay? And y'all have been through the storms, hell and back. There's been a lot of people putting illusion, confusion, spells on your union. And this union is worth fighting for. 10625-10627. I keep seeing my daughter and my sister's birthday. So don't don't let it don't let it fool you. Okay. Um there's a lot of people that want to reconcile with you too, but make sure you just keep your boundaries. They just really need time to really heal and learn their lessons. 10645. They really need to, you know. Yeah. I love this reading. Y'all think I want to pull some more cards. I don't know y'all. Y'all know I love doing this. Um. Yeah, let's get some. Let's pull this. Let's go ahead and get um. It's one of my decks that I don't think I'm gonna show. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep uh, this other new one I got. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. I'm gonna keep that one. But I will pull out this. I got my um these two decks I put together. Okay. My money and career along with my tarot. I just merged them because something told me to merge them together. Because I can do that there. Yeah, because you can do what you want to. Do what you want. Okay, spirit, what is the energy? What do we need to know? Slow and steady wins the race, baby. Slow. Ooh, that felt like. Look, y'all. Slow and steady wins the wet race. And spirit say, baby, you got a windfall of abundance coming in. You do. And this is happening this month. Ooh, my nose is itching. Y'all, this oof. Y'all, this is it. The new year is coming, baby. You might have dealt with some setbacks, baby. <laughs> you might have been dealing with some setbacks. You you have. But you about to come up out of that energy. Yeah, you about to have your luck, baby. Yeah, you coming out of the setbacks to 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 look March, four leaf clover, three leaf clover. You this March, all right. You are you done tic tac toe. To, it's time for you to win. You don't want the game. You done been setbacks to this. No more setbacks. You're going into this come March. I can't make it up. The four leaf clover, the, the four leaf clover, the lucky charm. You know. Yeah, you let go of the past and you're going into this luck. Alright, this is just what you attacked, attracted and manifested for yourself. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I guess we are, you know, I probably have to split the deck, y'all, but just even pull out a few cards because I don't know this for you know, see this fool is ready because he ain't came to it ready yet. Probably ready. Yeah, Mm. I'm hungry too. Let's see what's going on. Let's get this. Let's get it started. Woohoo! What do we 
pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it back first. When my nose is young. I've been on point today. Spirit talking today. Because my nose ain't itch this bad. I don't know how long. They here. What is going on, Spirit? What do y'all want us to know? We got the King of Cups here, upright. And we got a Ten of Wands here. So you got somebody that's here. Oh, emotional balance. Okay, somebody that's a leader. Somebody here that's just on their up and up. They're sure of who they are. They, 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 they ready to come. Okay, so somebody's ready to come out of some painful endings. All right, um, they're ready to get their shit together. Yeah, the emperor. He ready to get his shit together. He like, baby, we done been through enough and enough. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know I no longer want to be indecisive about this. Okay. I I get it. We 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 don't had enough lo losses. We don't had enough wounds. Like it, it's like it, it don't want to do no more pain for no more pain. Like we done done this enough. All right. Um maybe they done stab you in your back. Um But it's it's definitely some type of leader here. Let's see what's going on here. What is this? Ooh, this is going to tell it right here. Underworld. Okay, so this could be somebody that actually played in the dark arts or paid off to do something here. This could be, okay, um, this gun and money is okay for an unconditional awareness for a new source of income. Let's see, why is this here? Hold on now. Delays. Okay, so it could be a king of cups here that's having some type of loss, okay? Maybe he's feeling defeated, all right? This is somebody of high stature, okay? Somebody that's disciplined and all this other stuff. But this person right here is in fear of a sacrifice that's coming their way because they dealt in the, um, yeah, so I'm thinking this is like, they're in fear of some painful ending, okay? So from what I'm looking at here, y'all, this is somebody that's really, really, really frustrated, okay? Um, they're panicking because they're afraid of this painful ending. It look like my nose itching. Yeah, they don't. They're scared of some type of personal transformation. Like some, maybe they're afraid of death. Maybe they're afraid of this. Yeah, spirit is here. This is gonna somebody in some type of institution because the emperor and this, this is somebody of high stature here. This is somebody of high stature. Yeah, they're scared. We got scarcity out here. Yeah, they're scared of something here. Yeah, they're a word here. Somebody is, oh, in anxiety. Okay, somebody of high power, okay? This person appears to be emotionally balanced. They, they are this leader, okay? They are structured. Whoever this person is disciplined. But they are in fear of sacrifice here, all right? It's like they lose the control of something here because something that they owe to the underworld. They owe. I'm getting they owe the devil. They owe something to the spiritual realms here. Maybe there's somebody that's confirmed or, or conformed to, you know, they supposed to have to sacrifice somebody else, but they couldn't cause they couldn't do this. So now they're afraid of this painful ending. All right. This person could be dealing with some deep wounds, like emotionally too. Like, although they pose as emotionally balanced, they are hurting. But they're still wearing this, holding this persona, like one, one, three, three, three on the clock, as as they got it all. But they're afraid of something that's they they're afraid of something that's happening. You know, we got the nine of swords out here. Queen of Wands. Why is this here? New beginnings. Maybe this Queen of Wands is trying to stop somebody new beginnings. I was doing something foolish here. All right. Um, Cause she's in reverse. Yeah, she was doing something foolish here. Uh, confirmation, bro. Excuse me. 
Is this is, is this this person's wife? I'm getting mother. Somebody's mother. I'm getting both of them are afraid of falling something with these two uh, coming out the tower, you know. I'm getting the backfire energy. Somebody's about to walk right off a freaking cliff. Like, literally, like. Just like, yeah, I know, I chose to do this, but, you know, whatever, I don't care. Like, to, but now that they're getting closer and closer to the end of this cliff, getting closer and closer to this New Year energy coming in, I'm getting, they know that they're, Yeah, somebody, somebody losing, losing whatever they had here. Yes, they're, they're trying to lose some type of money. What I say about some type of union? Maybe a marriage here. Yeah, these two here. They were celebrating too soon, or this is a married couple, or this could something to do with a community. Let's see what this is. I'm going to do a few more out of this. Um, a Knight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Perfection. But this is like a... Somebody wasn't using their wisdom. They thought that... Whatever that was working on here, okay? They could have been working with community people. Like I said, this could be a married couple or... or Something to do with home here, okay? Um, they were celebrating too soon. Whatever they thought that somebody was living beyond their means or something like that. Obsessed with working, obsessed with doing something here in the spiritual realms I'm getting. This could be some type of secret society. We got some high, high hitters here. Okay? But this Knight of Pentacles here is feeling stuck. This could be the lover, like I say, to this King of Wands, Queen of Wands. With the night here. Whatever that was doing to try to perfect something, they did not succeed. It's, it's crossed out. The wisdom, they, they did not succeed. Now they're having delays in their finances. Yeah, because they were trying to win at all costs. They're feeling de 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 deleted. Hmm. Somebody could have been in competition with somebody. They could. This could be something to do with an abusive relationship too. Somebody could be very abusive. Both of them. We get both of them as abusive. Yeah, they was abusing. They was abusing um, a lot of SEX magic. He could be having problems going on with his. Um, I'm getting prostate cancer. Maybe I'm not speaking to somebody, but yeah. And she did. She could have done something to his. Or uh, this is um, something that's going on with him because of the magic they've been doing. Uh, he's no longer he's no longer motivated with her. Like he don't no longer want to like have any type of intimacy. One eighteen eighteen on the clock with her. Like it's like just the fake I see. Love don't live here anymore. <clears throat> oh. It's like because you and yeah, the judgment. They up under some heavy fucking. They about. Mm, mm. Somebody's at the mercy. They begging for mercy. These are groups of people I'm getting. Groups of family. They are begging for mercy. I'm getting because the horn is being blown. I'm looking at this. It's like I'm getting like hospital, like like doctor, maybe something to do with health. I mean, they they like I give you everything, just please, like, cause all of them are naked, even here, and it's like a whole other family in the back, like three people back there, three, and they're surrounded by water, and they in these boxes. Oh, all of them are standing in boxes. I'm I'm gonna try to cover them up, y'all. 
Y'all see this? They are in boxes. I'm getting, they are about to be put to the fucking, they're begging. They're begging because this is about to happen to these people. My hair is itching. This is, this is a King of Cups of Emperor. All right. These could be two different people. This could be like a, 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 a two brothers, a father, and a, 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 it could be family engine. I don't know. But somebody is having to watch somebody else pass away or something like that. Or both of them are afraid. You know what I'm saying? These people are on the high court. Like, they are in high places. This is a family I'm getting or a community. This could be a group of people in families, different families that work together. This is some type of secret society. I'm getting crowned. This could be royal, royal, royalties, the royal elites. Because there was there was not rightful. It was the air, the, the throne wasn't rightfully theirs in the correct first place. One, two, zero, four, three on the clock. They're about to be dethroned because they was never supposed to sit at the seat of they stole it and they happen to give back what's theirs. Because they can no longer do these sacrifices anymore. They can no longer sacrifice people here into the underworld. They can no longer kill people. You see the gun? They can no longer sacrifice people to the underworld. They can no longer cause towers in people's lives. The spirit is not. The divine energy is here. It is forbidden. And they've still been trying. They've been trying to figure out a way to still perfect this. Like, we can't know. This can't be it. This can't be it. It can't be our time is up. 121, 21 on the clock. We've been doing this forever. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 on the clock. We've been doing no, no, no. How? how? This is not, can't be real. Why now? You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to believe. They're in the now. They're in the now. They're in the now. And now judgment is here. The number nine is for significant because I'm looking at five and four here with the hair front and the four coins, and then I'm looking at the nine of swords. My nose is itching. Judgment, yep. But somebody here, somebody young here is trying to be trying to somebody young is trying to earn their I want to say wings but it's not wings I'm, I'm getting bat wings like the dark you know the um, bat like you know how the dark side like they have wings too but they're not feathers, not angelic. But they want to earn, earn earn their wings on the dark side. Like they're like a younger person. Like, let me do the work. Apprenticeship. Yeah. This is like a student or something. It's a student, like somebody younger, a nephew or a daughter or niece or whoever this page of pentacles is. Somebody younger want to... They want to earn their stripes. They want to earn their rings. They feel like they have mastered their skills. Let me do it. So they feel like they're skilled enough because these other people, their powers and abilities been stripped. But this person has been being taught the arts. My nose is itching. But it's something about Pluto here that it doesn't matter if they still trying to, no matter how skilled they are, how much they've been learning and crafting this, if it's anything towards it's a dark agenda to do with it, one, two, three, three, four o'clock, one, two, three, three, five. If it's anything on a dark agenda to do with one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five. The final countdown. If it's anything to do with a dark agenda to do with messing with a divine being. I don't care how young, old, how skilled, how low, whatever. They're gonna meet their fate too. I'm getting I'm getting this young person better get out, rethink this approach. Better get out while they're ahead. Because all it's gonna take is them doing it one time. These people done did this over and over again, but because the energies we're going into, all it takes is one time and it's fatal for them moving forward. Yep. 
I wouldn't do it. It's gonna be an unpaid debt. It's gonna be a debt. You're gonna already are you're gonna be one, two, four, three, two on the clock. One, two, four, three, five. They call that again, final countdown. I don't care how it goes. Those one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. You're gonna owe a debt. You're gonna write a check. It's what whatever you whatever you working on, whatever you think you skilled at, young lady, whatever this for. You're going to write a check that your ass can't cash. I wouldn't collaborate with these people if I was you. I don't know who this message is for, but obviously this is for somebody, especially if you're attacking me or anybody else, so be. And for me to be reading this, you have to watch my channel. Or it's going to come across. This could be something to do with family. This could be something to do with anybody. But baby, don't come to whoever you are. I don't care what you think. You're trying to get your strength. You're trying to get initiated in. You're trying to be a part of this. Whoever you trying to. Whoever these people you trying to prove yourself. One, two, five, four, three, two. Worthy to baby. One, two, five, four, six. You're going to be. You're going to write a check that your ass can't cash. I'm going to do a few more. I'm going to pick up this other stack. Because I'm, I'm got it to go to. Me. Do not do this. I don't know who this is for. Maybe you already done this. And baby, they already say you chose, a, you chose a team up with the wrong team. Yep. Worked without results. You chose. You already lost. All of you. The whole group. Whoever you group. Y'all lost. No. Work without results. Y'all been trying to do this, but these people been doing this for a long time. You want to join into some shit that, what make you think, for one thing, who y'all targeting, especially to me, I'm, I'm divine ancient energy. And it's forbidden. One, two, four, six, five. You just helped do this death magic. You just did this. You're doing this during this new moon. And you're gonna fuck around and find out. And you don't you're not gonna have all these chances like everybody else. You're gonna get this instant shit. My nose itching. Well, I tell you. What else, spirit? You got it to walk away if you hadn't already, baby. If you thinking about doing this, or if you even started and you thinking about if you you better walk away from this. I'm talking to somebody here. Could be a fire sign. Don't have to be. Or earth sign. Don't have to be. I say a fire, but the page of pentacles is an earth. This could be two people. This is two. This is two. This is two people. Two younger people. Y'all got it to walk away. Yeah, because look at this. You see the four cups. Um, the five cups on the bottom. They already empty. This is you two. It's something up here too that's from a distance. It's three of y'all. Yep, three. It's three young people. It's three of y'all. But two of y'all together. Siblings, lovers, and then another young one here that's off in the distance. Y'all, all y'all cups gonna be empty. Y'all trying to get a seat above these people. Y'all trying to prove these people worthy. Y'all trying to prove worthy to the darker forces, to these people. I don't know what y'all trying to do, but baby, whatever you're doing here, my nose is itching. It's not going to, it's not going to work. Judgment is here. That's why I say one, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six people in boxes. It's six people in boxes. You see those boxes I'm getting like the, uh, <sighs> I can't even think of the death boxes. God dang it. Coffins. Them coffins. Why are they standing in boxes begging? And then some of them are across seas. Like, y'all are three people are together. This could be two people and a younger person. Another two people and a younger person. Two younger people here. I'm getting this third person is an older person, an elderly person. Y'all teacher. The one that's been teaching y'all. There's one person out of these six people that's been teaching these two younger people. And these two young people want to uh, do want to try to deem they so worthy. And no. Mm. 
No. No. Bad luck, babies. Negative phases. Don't be. Y'all just resisting the change. Y'all, y'all got it to walk away. There's no gonna be no results from this. Somebody's thirsty. Don't want to come over. Some just curious. Like I just know I can do it. I can, I can do it. You too. Like I know I can do it. Just, just let me send the mental magic. Let me let me let me come up with this new idea. Let me ah, I got something. I got something. I can do this. I'll go over there. I'll get this person. You know what? I can do this. It don't matter. They think you think because your your energy is new and fresh that you're gonna be able to do it. No. No. Cause you're still a baby soul. You're gonna get laid to rest, I'm telling you. You're gonna get laid to rest. These three people. Three of these people are sacrificing you, idiots. You two. That's that's one, two. A sword is representing one of you all, and then another one is representing it's three of them that's gonna sacrifice you two. Somebody's gonna be laid to rest. It's Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yep. It's going to sacrifice you. A mother figure or somebody. Oh, no, you, this is who's about to pass away. Yeah, they're going to. This Queen of Pentacles is doing some magic up under the moon. She's trying to sacrifice whoever one of these students is. Maybe they've sacrificed one already. My nose is itching. They're about to sacrifice the other. The other student. I'm getting two two dogs. You see the separation of that? So, Prestation. Somebody could literally be 18. 18 to 20. Something's coming to an end. This this Queen of Pentacles is trying to sacrifice them. Are these people doing trying to sacrifice them to get out of their karmic debt? Oh, they're doing more magic though. Yeah. One, three, two, four, zero on the clock. They're doing more magic. Somebody's been direct about this. They're clear minded. They're they're they are they do not they do not care. They're they're my nose is itching. They've been whoever this is been talking crazy to whoever these younger people is just been been putting fear in them for a long time. Yeah, they've been acting like they helping them. One three three oh five been acting like they there to help them. Somebody could be a nurse. Could be nurses. Be people working in the CNA medical field. I don't know. But this queen of this this queen of swords is a nurse. Her and the two other ladies I'm getting. So these people work in the medical some of these people work in the medical field. Yep. Yeah. Collaboration. They collaborated together. They collaborate together. I'm telling you. The three of them. The three swords is about to take. You see the yellow here? The sword already been laying down. Now they're about to lay down another. Maybe they did something last night. So I'm getting one, three, three, four, five on the clock. Last night when I had that near-death experience where they couldn't take me out, they already sacrificed one of these young people. One of their students. They're going to try to sacrifice another one within these next uh, days. Could be the night. Okay. One, three, four, zero, five. Uh, on the clock. Could be any time between this new moon. My nose is itching. They're going to sacrifice somebody. Somebody could be a, a, a air sign here. Somebody could be a Libra or Virgo as well. Pisces. But... 
It's some of everything. I'm getting no, it's I'm getting it's an air sign, a water sign, an earth sign, and the and the and the um the, 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 the student that they're sacrificing is um one three four four two on the clock. One three four four four. The one three four four five. The student that they're sacrificing is a fire sign. They need somebody to represent all the elements. This Queen of Swords is leading this. Whatever this seance is. So they got. They got um this student or this one that's thinking they're getting initiated. They think they're about to get initiated. They think they're about to help them with this ritual. Okay. They think they're about to help them with this ritual to do some type of death man, not knowing that they're about to be the sacrifice to try to take somebody else out. So they're sacrificing one of their students, another one of their students. They already did one. It didn't work. Now they're trying to sacrifice the other one, another one. One, three, five, five, two on the clock. Okay. One, three, five, five, four, one, three, five, five, five. Damn, they're trying to sacrifice another one to still try to succeed in this. I can't make this up. They are help. Listen, they got this student thinking that they are helping them with this. Okay, it's a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Got this student thinking they are helping them. This, this person is losing everything. They are, these people are losing everything. These people are in the will of fortune in reverse. They got the student. 136, 36. They don't even know that. This student don't even know that the other one's been murdered. 13645. They don't know. And they're about to be murdered. To try to sacrifice them to still try to off maybe me because like I said I had a temp on my life last night that, that, that sacrifice didn't work this one ain't going to work either oh boy yes I'm telling you I can't make this up they're about to sacrifice this other student of theirs that's been trying to get initiated into their secret society into their coven. These two young little puppies. These two young puppies. Mm, 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 mm. Confirmation with the freaking. I'm getting the floods are gonna come rolling in. They making this person thinking that they're helping them with death magic just to dead them to try to do death magic on somebody else but they are the sacrifice for the fucking death magic i know it's itching and this student think that they're getting initiated and they're about to be laid to the rest wherever they are this is happening from a distance they lost their way the hermit here a union. This could be lovers doing this. Okay. Um <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. This is this King of Cups, this Queen of Swords. These are people in their covens. This is Queen of Wands. This this Queen of Cups is sideways. I got these people are of some type of high statue. They are lovers. Uh, confirmation, bro. Excuse me. These are lovers doing this and somebody else. Uh, Excuse me. Confirmation, bro. These are lovers doing this. Maybe these are nieces and nephews. Because to mind you, if they sacrifice somebody in their bloodline, 
it's more of an offering. That's what I'm getting. If they're sacrificing the Six of Pentacles, if they sacrifice somebody of their family, it's more of an offering. It, 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 they're hoping that it got to be somebody in their 139, 39 on the clock bloodline for they to hope it, that this death magic works and it hits and it's not going to matter. They are trying to get out of this karmic debt that they owe the fucking devil. They tell me to put these two dicks together now because they're small enough for me to handle it. They've been trying to juggle this because they're losing everything. They're in fear. That's the beginning of it. They are in fear. Of this, this, they are in fear of this pain plan, and they're fear because they know that they're in fear of sacrificing their own sacrifice. So they're trying to sacrifice up two people in their families, nieces could be their own damn children. Two people in their family. I can't make it up. The six of cups in reverse. They're trying to these lovers. These lovers This is not a divine union by the way These are karmics Are trying to sacrifice two Young Adults Teenagers, young adults and their family To get out of this karmic debt To the devil Or to try to dead You, me, whoever, one, four, zero, five, six Dead a divine being and it's still not gonna work. We got a king of swords here. It's not gonna work. The devil is I don't care. The devil is not they're not gonna be able to deliver. The devil ain't trying to hear that. The devil like, I don't care how many fuckers you sacrifice. No, y'all are the sacrifice. Y'all y'all don't kill, y'all don't murder these family men, whoever it is, for nothing. Because I said that this person is off limits. This is a divine being. They don't want to believe it though. They are in the now. They are in the now. These lovers, no. Nah. Mm-mm. Page of Wands. Nope. Spiritual path. Yeah. They're trying to formulate a new idea. They like this to do it. Let's let's just I know these are our kids. I know this is our niece and this friend. I know this is family, but we gotta do this. People are offering their own family, their own children, their own family. One, four, two, one, three on the clock. Okay? Just to try to get out of spiritual comment then. This is crazy. This is crazy. They're not moving forward. It's not the devil saying, Nope, I don't give up. Yeah, as they're not trying to hear it. This is not gonna come. This is not gonna cover their debt. One, four, two, three, four. One, four, two, three, five. This is not gonna cover their debt. Hmm. A few more, and I'm out of here. But they're persistent. They better gear up for the worst. Spirits say gear up for the worst because y'all not getting out of this one. They're not getting out of this one. Easy does it now. Cause then I told y'all to stop being persistent. Stop doing this. One four three oh two. Y'all won't listen. Y'all don't think that people are who they say they are. Y'all think it's some way y'all can hijack this or hack this. Yeah, y'all gonna be dying a slow death. Somebody finna be dying a slow death. Somebody finna be dying a slow death. Yep, they finna be carrying these burdens. They're gonna be. I'm telling you, it's coming to an end. Yep, this stuff finna. This is going to come full damn circle. They are done for. Nope. No wish fulfillments on this. They're going to lose. Every, I told you. That's it. <laughs> Unfinished business. Resisting a change. They don't want to stop it. Now they're going to lose everything. <laughs> Y'all made a bad investment. I don't care. Y'all, it's something. Some people are just forbidden. It's off limits. Period. Y'all don't have to believe. Y'all don't have to believe 14404 people are who they say they are. They're off, they're off limits. The divine being is going to get a victory here. 14411. Something to happen to be happening publicly. And somebody's going to see them lose everything. The public is going to see them lose everything. The public is going to see their life. 
finna see them lose everything. They was they finna see them in depression, sadness, like feeling that. Yeah, that was too arrogant. That was too arrogant. Finna see them lose everything. Do you feel me? One four 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 one. One four 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 on the clock. Whoever this PD people are, this is people past statue. They about to, and it all came tumbling down. They fucked around and found out. Especially these people that came out to me, baby. I don't care who you are. Got the King of Pentacles here. Dark side of wealth. They did a lot of dark things for their wealth, and it's just over. So you got. Okay, so what's this? We got a King of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups here. Financial loss. Okay, so spirits say, take what resonates. This is what the this this energy right here. You're about to, whatever they try to steal from you. Whatever this was there. This was your energy they was pulling off of. They're losing. They're losing it. But you're about to go from rags to riches. Yeah. Let me see if your Ace of Cups. One four four, a uh, one four five four six on the clock. Yep. So somebody's about to lose everything. One, four, five, five, five. Change is here for you. Somebody's about to lose everything. All these people that's been doing this stuff for you and been trying to take your inheritance, trying to steal your energy, been siphoning your energy since you was probably born. Maybe lifetime after lifetime. Their time is up. Their cycle is over. We're coming out of this energy come the march. All right? And they're about to go from riches to rags while you go from rags to riches. The table's about to turn. Put it like that. You're about to get your Ace of Cups, beautiful divine beings. Yeah. You're about to get your Ace of Cups. You're about to see progress, all right? You're about to see expansiveness in your life, all right? You're about to have enterprises, all right? You're about to be a leader. When they lose their leadership, 146, 46 on the clock, they're going to lose their leadership decisions and you're going to step up to your to leadership. Somebody's going to be in this King of Pentacles energy here. Somebody's literally going to go from rags, from not having nothing, to having the King of Pentacles in this King of Pentacles energy. Cups overflowing and everything. You could be possibly about to travel overseas as well too. You're going to travel around and, and um be some type of leader. Step up. It's time to play your role. Get ready, Spirit is saying. Get ready, and that's the truth. You could have been being weak. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't be insecure about this, okay? Um, because you're about to travel the world. Yeah. So they let me not want me to let you know. Don't deal with you, don't deal with this self-doubt. You're gonna have to let go of this self-doubt, okay? You got to strengthen yourself because you're meant to do this. You're gonna travel the world. You go. You gotta be this leader, and you're gonna gain a lot of money from doing this. One forty-seven, forty-seven on the clock. Because these people are about to get their commerce. Yeah, it's gonna be a difficult decision you have to make here. Okay. Something that you don't see coming. Yeah, but this is your justice. This is your justice. Things are about to be balanced out, baby. Yeah, you're about to travel the world. You're here to, to bring healing to the earth. You're here to bring justice to the world. You're here to bring justice to Gaia. You're here to bring, trust the universe has a better plan for you. It, the universe is about to bring you justice. So don't don't doubt this. Don't not take this opportunity because it's going to be a lot coming in. This is beautiful. But... Your broken family, people in your family, people who doubted you, who left you out, trying to block all these opportunities in you, they're going to have to be overwhelmed by your choice about these things that you're, you know, doing. They still could be trying to do a lot of things to cause you confusion and stuff like that, try to shatter your dreams, but know that, baby, that it don't matter because you're the high priestess, baby. You got things coming in for you. They cannot do nothing. All these illusions and all this confusion and stuff they've been doing to break up your home or whatever as well, too. You're about to be in this energy. You are this energy. Like, you already know these things. You're, you're going to be on this high statue, high morals. You're the divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? You have sacred energy. They say, just trust your intuition. Here we go back to that first reading when I was talking about your relationship, your love. Trust your intuition that these people still going to be trying to send illusions and stuff in your in your life to 
the um break you or something to break your love to break yeah there's gonna be a lot of things that you're juggling here okay but you're gonna be balancing all of this stuff all of these things that you you're gonna be able to balance all this okay just accept that this is what it is just accept it no more setbacks you've had enough setbacks you've dealt with setback after setback after setback we've seen that earlier and it's time for you to come out of this energy yeah it's time for you to, yeah, sudden awareness. It's time for you to um, choose happiness. We're not dealing with no more setbacks. We're not dealing with no no more losses. We done did that, okay? But be careful because, you know, people trying to make you think otherwise. But this is shift that's taking place here. Yeah, you're about to have a totally new direction. And a lot of people are going to be in conflict. They're trying to be in competition with you, all right? A lot of people going to be trying to... Um, Cause you strife, but don't, don't never mind these people. They just trying to find a way to still, you know, betray you and strategize and a way to try to approach you. All right. Some people going to be trying to come clean to you about things they do. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you just be smart, work smart. All right. Or whatever you, you got coming into you, they still trying to find a way to work smart to try to do some type of magic here as well. But I'm getting you, your creations too, whatever you've been working on. Just keep keep working at it. But they say work smart, not hard. Somebody could be some type of designer, something to do with your clothing here. All right. Okay. This is your magic. You meant to fulfill this. Okay. We got the King of Wands energy here. All right. You're a natural leader. All right. The big picture. Somebody's going to say leadership again, entrepreneurship. It's just time for you to do this. There's going to be a lot of people brokenhearted about this, baby. They're going to be sad, brokenhearted, and in sorrow because they cannot come and sit with you at your table because they missed out on a good thing. Mm -hmm. The angels are here to help. And your partner, you got to have a lot of partnerships. Okay? Hello, it's like the battery's about to go dead, but I'm about to get off in here. I'm going to charge this up. Um, you're going to have a lot of partnerships. A lot of new partnership, a lot of new adventures, like a lot of things going to come through for you. Okay? Get ready. The angels is sending you help with your work and, and adventures, your, what you're working on. You're going to be able to take your work, acting, whatever you do to a whole other level. You know what I'm saying? Change is here. And this is coming, 151, 51 on the clock. This is coming here this March. Get ready, y'all, because things are about to look up. Moving on up. To the east side, and we finally got a piece of the pie. <laughs> you and your love, baby. Things about me balanced now, okay? Just know that um, you could be traveling here, all right? You could be traveling, like I say. Somebody's about to travel the world. Um, somebody's going to be making um, decisions, all right? And just start planning or whatever. You're going to be able to make plans for something here. Yeah, because some type of offering is coming your way. Yep, some type of contract I'm getting when I see this. You could be a writer, a guy to write. We got a Knight of Cups in here in reverse. Somebody could be, you know, disappointed or jealous in this. So you just got it to write more, use your imagination and write out stuff here. Yeah, you got a Page of Cups and a Knight of Cups. Somebody could be... These two people uh, could be jealous of this, trying to, you know, mechanic, like, still engine up, engineer up something to cause you to have creative blocks or something like this. These two people is going to be disappointed. I'm getting this page of cups and this knight of cups energy could be disappointment. This could be people from your past, and they're still trying to mend up things or uh, deal with things because they're broken and lost or whatever. They might try to mend things with you, but... Don't they might try to come with you with some type of offering too for some type of contract. Don't don't take this offer. This some bullshit. Yeah, they just you know they 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 all in their head. They gonna probably about to go to jail or trying to trap you because they don't want you to be a star. So don't 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 don't, don't take this offer when these people come here. Okay. I'm also getting back to somebody. Here we go with this student teacher things. Okay, so spirits say these. Okay, thank you, spirit. So whoever. These people are that was in some type of stardom or whatever that did this to you while you about to go into all this and they about to lose it all when I was talking about this coven, the secret side, then 153, 53 on the clock or something to do with a family or something like that, their family. Whoever did this spell work and try to sacrifice, they're about to go to jail. Look, this is somebody, these people are high stature, this lovers, this couple or whatever and with their little coven, all right? These two that they sacrifice, this knight of uh, page of cups and pay a knight of cups these two that they sacrifice they're going to jail for mm -hmm. yep 
Are these is the two here that's been doing all this? They're going to jail. Regardless, they're going to jail. They're going to jail. They are going to jail. Yeah. People going to be gossiping about this. Oh, they go, they gossiping about you too, all in their head because, you know, they don't want to see you going into the stardom. They're trying to, you know, talk bad about you, gossiping about you, hoping that people don't, you know, want to take a chance on you and stuff like that. But I got the awesome, the office here. It's a lot of people in high places that's watching you, all right? Um, also, you know, gossip about you. I'm getting in a good way, though. A lot of people, it's it's a page of cups and they're like, this. It's, it's a couple of people that's, don't want you to step into the storm. They're trying to block this for you in this office. Like they, they don't, they, but they're they're gonna get fired. I'm getting whoever these people is that's disagreeing. Like don't want you to come on team. Don't want you to get this opportunity. Come on, people starting to see them for who they are. Like it's no reason not to like bring you aboard or something like that. This is something to do with work. Um, these two can, can get fired or these two finna go to jail or something like that because something they done did behind the scenes. Yeah, but it's it's some people in, in some people in a um high statue or some people that's working together in this office or this that's want to bring you some type of offering here that want to partner with you here with some type of contract here. This is gonna bring you balance here. This is this is a, the divine here. Just be patient. This is because your whatever your purpose is you're working on. They um they gossiping about you in a good way. Yeah. We got restless. The Knight of Swords. Why is that here? Yeah, it's whatever. You know, this can be impulsive to you because you, this is going to be right on the bullseye, baby. This is your life purpose. Okay? Don't worry, don't worry about... um. You might be a little restless at first. It might seem a little burnt out at first. All right? Um, You could be not predicting this in some type of way, but know that... Whatever this is, is right on the money. Like, you see all those holes in this dartboard. Like, you know what I'm saying? You've been all over the place. A lot of stuff been targeting you. You've been a target. But now, all of this targeting that's been done to you, too. Like, it's like, now you're about to hit the bullseye. Because this didn't do nothing to lead you into your life purpose. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a night of sports energy that's been targeting you. Just trying to stop this from happening to you. But, um, yeah, it don't matter what they do. Yeah, somebody was working hard here. Or whatever your purpose is. Uh, confirmation, but excuse me. Whatever your life purpose is, you're about to be doing work in that. This is what you. This is this is what you're doing. What you love, yeah. You're doing what you love. This is gonna bring you a lot of luck, okay? Yes, student. Let's see. Yeah, you've learned your lessons here, and now you're in this empress energy, and you're coming out of the cold. You're going for restorations. I'm telling you. Yeah, retail. Health and manifesting, yeah. Whatever this is, can be do with retail, you know, sales and stuff like that. And also, this could do with the health industry, doing with health or something. About it. There's something that they might want to bring you a part of to test you in retail and health, um, and all this other stuff. I don't know. This could be people that do with retail and health. This take will resonate, but this is something that you manifest it, okay? But that's manifest. You got it to eat better, to take better care, care of yourself. But it's like you manifested these things. Yeah, precautious. I mean, precarious. Pre You've been going through a lot of ups and downs, but the time is here now, baby. Yeah, you receiving activations here in your body. Yeah, that's why your health is saying your health is going to pick up. Okay, your business is going to... Okay, spirit say your health is going to pick up and do better. Your business is going to pick up and do better. Whatever you do, it's going to start picking up and doing better. Okay, your manifestations is about to pick up. All right. Like I said, you could be about to travel here. Somebody could be also about to travel because of some type of loss. Okay. Spirit say a major phase of your life is ending. So you're going to go from loss, like I said, from rest to reason. You're going to go into a whole um, new world. Yeah. Yeah. Investment. Yeah. You're going to go from rags to riches. <laughs> You finna go from losses, losing out on things, not having to investments after investments, more money, more money, money. I'm telling you, somebody's life is about to change. And know that while you're on this journey, you're protected. Yeah, just stay in, stay in control of your well-being. You know what I'm saying? Um, A lot of people trying to... Somebody here could be feeling unfulfilled here. 
people from your past. You know what I'm saying? It's something that they did. Your remember that other my last reading where I was talking about your father, my father, or your mother, whoever your family is, they sold you off to science experience and science project. They are mad, your parent. They are mad because whatever they tried to do to sell you off, they was unfulfilled. Now these people that they did this with you with, there's, there's some type of peace here. Somebody got to make peace with you because they're seeing that they they couldn't do what they were set out to do. Yeah, with spirituality here. My nose is itching. Yeah. They could not. Whatever they was experimenting you with you on, baby, it's a wrap. They was not able to fill that contract. That's why all this shit about to go down. Yeah, money management. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Great leaps. Okay, finances could take a giant leap. Somebody's about to take a giant leap, leap in their money management, the money that you make, all right? Like I said, you could be doing, be into spirituality, all right? Uh, whatever you work in, okay? Yeah, things are unlocking for you. Things are about to take off for somebody. I'm telling you, life is a windfall of abundance. I can't make this up. And you're going to be comfortable as hell. Do you understand me? You're going to live a comfortable Fucking comfortable. 20031 two, zero, zero, life. 20034. Zero, zero, okay? Comfortable life. Comfortable windfall of abundance is coming in. Somebody is unlocking money management. So this is beautiful. I'm going to leave it at that. No more setbacks. We're done with the setbacks. Change is here, baby. The unexpected is about to happen. All right? Make sure you be cautious of things and plan. Like, you're going to be making a lot of plans here. There's a lot of beautiful things going on. A lot of people are going to be in regret. Oh, they're going to be in regret. But a lot of people about to get that karma. Y'all getting, y'all get ready. Because this new, this energy that's coming in for this new year is about to be on point. Do you feel me? This is a real new year, baby. New year, new you, new true, new everything, baby. Get ready. Get ready. I'm excited. I know I've been in divine alignment. I've been putting my work in, baby. Energy, aching, mind, body, soul, and spirit. All right. 201321 o'clock. 20134. I know for a fact. So, Emperor, baby. Big body. Big energy. Big energy. I'm ready to receive this big energy. All right. So, remember beautiful diamonds of light. The depression only creates a beautiful diamond of light. Until next time. Bye now.